Hey, this is Lionel, class of 2009, back with another special production of PV versus everybody. And today, we're going to get a chance to talk with the new signee coming out of Fulcher, Mr. Deuce Barrington, as he trains with a, with a PV legend, Jerome Howard. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I mean, that's my, this is my nickname. My real name is Timothy Barrington. Well, the grooming process was fun. It was it was unique. Um, I only had three schools maybe talking to me, but PB was the one that that really stuck with me. And I really I really liked the coaches there, and uh, we built a bond. And I loved the atmosphere over there. It was nice. Yeah, they wanted me to go there so bad. Like the, the brotherhood. Everybody like everybody was tight. Everybody it was just culmination of. Like I, I was on the sideline, I was in the bleachers and I felt the adrenaline from the homecoming game. Like that game was, that's what I went to the homecoming game and I, I, I loved it there and it was fun. I was like, I need to be here. I need to experience this. My name is Jerome Howard. I'm a proud alum of PVAMU, now founder of Dynamic Performance Development. Uh, over the past eight years, I've been fortunate to work with an array of athletes ranging across all sports and all levels from youth to professional. In particular, I want to take a moment to highlight and speak about Deuce Barrington who's a phenomenal student athlete. He is now gonna be a Prairie View A&M Panther, similar to myself, so he made the great choice, just like I did about 10 or 15 years ago, of joining the best, 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 best school out there in the land, not just HBCU, but the best school that the world has to offer, which is Prairie View A&M University. Uh, I started my freshman year, just because I, I like basketball. I used, to, I used to love basketball. I didn't like to get hit. I hated contact. I hated it when I was a kid. I hated contact. So then uh, I didn't play quarterback till my seventh grade year, and uh, just caught on ever since. I love it because I love having the ball every play. I love having the attention on me. So that's why I wanted to play quarterback. My dad also played quarterback also. Oh, your dad played quarterback? Yeah, he went to Southern Arkansas. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, he played quarterback. So he got a quarterback in the family. Yeah. So like he knows the game of quarterback. He knows quarterback. So like he knows the, the game, and he taught me all kinds of things that I still do to this day. I'm thankful for, every, for everything that I've been through. And uh, it was fun going 10 and 0, going 10 and 0 regular season. Like it's just crazy. We, we did way better, the best school, best season in school history. Broke a few records, and it was just fun. So it was fun. It was a fun year. All right, same thing, same drill. So here is something that a lot of people don't realize is when you talk about overall sprint mechanics, just running. The only time an athlete is on two feet, two feet is if he's on the bench or he's in the huddle. Once right. the game actually starts, nobody runs. Like this. When this foot's down, this one's up. That's here, that one's up. That one's up. So drills like this, what we're doing is giving, giving the athlete a chance to work and strengthen and fix any imbalances from left to right. So now, one, that can increase his chance of getting injured because both limbs can hold their own weight. And then two, when you talk about sprinting, because now he's going to the collegiate level where it's no longer a game of inches, now it's a game of centimeters because everybody's good. All these guys were the top of the top on their team, their county, some even in their state. So drills like this are going to be what separates and add, allows him to add that 1% to his game and separate himself from the pack. For a long time, I was going to do business administration, but then I was like later on, like right now, like the past few months, I've been uh, wanting to do kinesiology and I applied for the kinesiology uh, program. I want to be a coach after, that's what, that's what I want to be next, after football is over. I want to be a coach. I want to be a uh, part of, stay with football, love football. Watching film. Finding the defensive tendencies, that's like the biggest biggest thing in my opinion. And you'll be more relaxed in the game, chilling. Do it in practice, you can do it in the game. Just watch film, watch what the defense is giving you, and just take what they give you. Sometimes the corners, the way their feet are set, sometimes either they're staggered this way, and if they look this way, if they're looking at you, they're practically, practically dropping back. So that gives you, that either gives you a cover three look, or cover two, depending, so that you can easily figure it out what to do. And then, a little about Deuce, uh, I think this kid is a guy that catches on fast, he's a great kid. I don't have kids yet, but my wife and I, I'm recently married, we always talk about the traits and skill sets and different things that we would like for our kids to have, and Deuce possesses all of them. This guy is a hard worker, you're talking about a guy that's first in, last out. He's a great listener, he's always curious to learn, he's a sponge in any environment. And what I like also is he's an independent thinker. So as we all know, once you get to college, you're surrounded by distractions. You're constantly pulled from a number of places. And similar to a boat, I do a lot of fishing myself. There are times that Deuce may sway off. He may 
you know, dripped off a tad bit, but I know that his family comes from a strong spiritual background, and that anchor is always going to pull him right back where he needs to be. So, you know, we look, I'm only 31. I've been there before. I've had moments where I swayed off, but, you know, similar to Deuce, I come from a strong family that that anchor is going to always keep me grounded. So, uh, PV Nation and everyone watching this, I'm super excited to see Deuce Barrington come and help our Panthers win some ball games. Homecoming. I actually want to like experience homecoming, like at the school, being around everything. Yeah, I can't wait to like experience because I, uh, because I'm, I'm not really from like the round where a lot of black people are from, like African American people. So it's it's kind of nice to experience, experience the brotherhood, experience all the African American culture. I can't wait to experience everything that you see. So previously we worked what's called the sagittal plane of motion, just forward and back, keeping things simple. But of course, as we know. Uh, sports and athletics are it's a reactive sport where you're always reacting so now we're going to do the same drill same concept but Deuce is going to face me this time so instead of facing forward and back like he's done previously now we're going sideways this is great for ankle stability great for strengthening his hips and more than anything I just want to make sure he's ready to respond to whatever the opposing team defense may throw at him because now that he's at the collegiate level, he's going to see defensive ends dropping. He's going to see the offensive line. I'm sorry, defensive linemen twisting, safeties blitzing, linebackers blitzing, everything. So I want to make sure he's prepared for whatever's thrown at him. Yeah, I do. I, I warm my shoulders. I, I hold my shoulders up for two minutes, and I, I warm my shoulders. I use bands also, and I stretch out. I do a little dynamic warm up, and then I get ready. Give me some specific. Young boy. Like, okay. Of course, young boy. And uh, I like. Sometimes I like to go a little slow. I like like run for your ass. I like future. I like all. Thanks to God. Thanks to God, I'm gonna keep it. Hopefully, I get to keep it. And give thanks to God. <laughs> you know, you know, the parents probably gonna take it. Yeah, I know. You know, you know, that's what's gonna happen. They gonna yeah. take it and frame it. That's probably what's gonna happen. Score a touchdown against Michigan State. That's that's. I got it on my wallpaper on my phone. I got it. I said score a touchdown against Michigan State. That's that's my big goal. Uh, yeah, I checked in with the uh, new quarterback Cameron Peters. Checked in with him. He's cool. I, I got to meet him on my official visit. I got to meet all like the, the signees that's coming with me. Yeah, I met some met some new friends, and it's gonna be fun. Get ready. I'm coming.